Hey guys, Inder this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to a custom ROM that is Havoc OS version 3.1. So finally we got a next increment of Havoc OS. So earlier we were using Havoc OS 3.0 and just 7 days back developer has created or I would say released a new version that is Havoc OS 3.1. So let me show you. This is the Havoc version 3.1. And again, although you all are aware about that, this is based on Android 10. Apart to this security patch level of 1st January 2020, so again the latest security patch and the build date was January 12, so which is almost 7 days or I would say 6 to 7 days from today. And the kernel version is 4.4.205 Corvus LAUM. So apart to this, if, if you are a very, if you are a, like, if you are a user who has uh, just saw that particular have a cost related, related thing very first time then there are a bunch of settings if you want to have a customizable uh, from a have a OS related then this is a configuration center here you can find bunch of things like status bar quick setting screen MBA display and so on so you can ju directly jump into this and you can manipulate it uh, we will try our level best if we can create a video on this as well uh, and a part of this there are a bunch of quick settings available so you can play with that as well so this video is basically for a very first look and afterward we'll see how to install so for that i'll be going to uh, reboot my phone into the recovery mode so finally we have been booted to the recovery mode but before jumping into the installation part let me discuss few other things that how you should download this process and what are the steps and so on so for that i have already created or i would say drafted a article on my official blog so the url for the same will be provided to you in the description below so this is basically the instruction that how you can install havoc os 3.1 uh, with the android 10 on your asus zen for max pro m1 so firstly the rom developer maintainer is traverilo then links for downloading the rom and other resources like os havoc os 3.1 so basically this particular rom doesn't allow gf so we have to flash it separately so for that you you can download the link uh, like GF from this particular link then if you want to uh, like root your phone or flash magics then you can uh, use this part a part of this google camera link uh, it, it is optional but we recommend it and it is working absolutely fine a part of this backup your data these are the prerequisite or pre-requirement then charge your phone so firmware version needed for this particular rom is 059 but i will recommend to have for firmware version 060 if you haven't downloaded yet or updated so we have already provided bunch of videos on that a part of this bootloader should be unlocked twrp custom recovery should be unlocked uh, like install if you are not aware about this we have already provided reference video Finally, the installation of Havoc OS using TWRP. Firstly, you should format data. Then you should wipe your cache Dalvik data and system. Vendor partition is optional. Then install of Flash the Havoc OS 3.1 ROM and after that install of Flash the GFs. Afterward, just reboot the phone and complete the phone setup process. If you are facing any problem after uh, moving to the phone setup process, then just wait for 15 minutes. Otherwise, afterward, just reboot your phone and it will fast run your process. Last but not least, enjoy the Havoc OS 3.1 ROM on your Asus Zen for Max Pro M1. So now let's start with the installation process by step by step. So according to our blog, firstly, we have to format data. So I have just tapped on wipe afterward. I'm just going to tap on format data and here it will ask for the confirmation. Just type yes and afterward uh, just press on that blue tick and within next three to four seconds, it will do, do its magic and afterward just go back again back. Now you have to move to the advanced wipe and in uh, advanced wipe you have to select four different partition dalvik cache data and system so vendor partition is optional if you want you can do it so swipe to wipe it and within next three, three to four seconds it will do its own magic as well just afterward go back so uh, ultimately we have completed two different uh, sub steps of installation now we have to do the major part that is install afterward you uh, you have to tap on install and afterward you have to select storage so if, if you are using usb otg you can select second option if you are using micro sd like i am so just select this part and tap on ok afterward just find uh, like search for that particular file where you have downloaded uh, where you have kept it so this is havoc os and these are the open gaps or i would say gf firstly we will be installing havoc os just flash it to confirm it and it will take some time to uh, install it in the background so let's wait till then so finally the installation of the Havoc OS 3.1 is done on our Asus, Zenf Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now we are good to go with the reboot system of wipe. But at this moment we won't be doing reboot. We first do wipe cache and Dalvik. 
and afterward we have to flash the gf so for that i'll be going back again back to the same folder where i have kept rom and gf so i'm just going to select gf and afterwards swipe to confirm flash so all in all it will again take its own time sometimes 5 to 7 minutes and so on so have some patience and wait till then so finally the gf installation is also completed again we are left with two different option one is reboot system and wipe cache so i'll always recommend to do this part so that all the junk files behind the system will be cleared out afterward we are good to go with the reboot system i'll just press on here and our phone will be rebooted and so you have you might have to wait 2 to 3 minutes until unless we will be booted to the have a os login or progress pass screen so let's wait till then So finally, we have been booted to the Havoc OS Progress Bar screen, or I would say Havoc OS Login screen, or whatsoever you can. So it will take some time. So just have some patience for at least five to ten minutes. But again, I'll recommend you if it it will take more than fifteen minutes, then you should restart or reboot your phone, and it will fasten your process. So at my side, it hardly took five minutes to complete that particular login screen, and now we have moved to the phone setup process. I can cut down this time, but it will be really preferable for the ones who haven't done this part in the past. So let me do it. So again, it is the phone setup process. You can choose it according to your SIM and so on. So I'm just doing the same, but I always do at my end. After work, connect to Wi-Fi and so on. So let me enter my credential to proceed further. So after entering credential, now it is checking for the update. It is related to Google Play services, nothing major. So let's wait till the time it complete and moves to the next screen. So finally, we have moved to the next screen. Here it is asking copy data or do you want to fresh? So I I just mentioned don't copy and I'll proceed further. And again, it will do some sort of checking. So ah, uh, let me remind you again. So whenever we are flashing any custom ROM, it is a part of factory reset or I, I would say hard reset. So in that particular case, you should be aware about the last pin or pattern or and most probably your Gmail account associated. So here it is asking for the pin. So let me enter it and let's verify it. So finally, it has verified that I it I was using the same pin and it was able to uh, uh, like proceed further. So at this moment, I'm not not going to sign with the Google so that I can cut down with the time. I just want to show you that what what is the bare bone structure after installing this particular phone or uh, I would say custom ROM. So again, it is asking for the uh, security pin, uh, and afterward, it is asking for the fingerprint sensor. Its fingerprint sensor is working absolutely fine at this moment. I I'm just I have just skipped it, but I'll be covering this part in the uh, like review part. So finally. Uh, whenever you will be installing this particular custom room you will have these basic apps with play store so that you can op- install anything apart to this let me confirm you once more i'll be going to about phone then android 10 version have a qos have a qos 3.1 security patch and so again the base uh, you can play with this particular configuration center to play with each and every bit and it is highly rich set of um, uh, like customization available in this particular room so you can play with this apart to this uh, they have a very basic version of camera so you can install the google camera or a gcam 7 which we have already provided on the blog which we had just discussed in this particular video so we'll be providing you the review for that as well and apart to this there are like bunch of telephone apps and these all will be updated in using the play store updates and so on So this was all from our side related to the uh, like installation part uh, that is step by step of have a QS 3.1 on your beloved handset that is Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this video with friends and family. And a part of this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.